Now we're going to demonstrate with our model here how the pull of these muscles produces upward rotation and downward rotation in the scapula. So when the muscles in yellow are pulling, they produce a net upward rotation of the scapula. Let me return to our resting position. When the muscles in red are pulling, they produce a net downward rotation in the scapula. What we see happen very often is that the muscles in red, our downward rotators, are either shorter, dominant, more active, or stronger than the muscles in yellow, who are underactive, long, or too weak to perform their job. So what we see happening either in a resting position or sometimes when people are trying to get their arms up overhead is that the downward rotators are pulling relatively harder than the upward rotators, which again produces a net downward rotation of the scapula.